more now on the growing calls for Pre President Trump to resign or be impeached for a second time. Overnight, the Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, said Trump is guilty of inciting an insurrection. And she demanded that Vice President Mike Pence use the 25th Amendment to get Trump out of office. Well, we're joined now by Trump's former communications director, Anthony Scaramucci, who says, yes, he has to go. And by Trump's supporter, political commentator, Ben Ferguson, who says the president should serve out his term. Um, Anthony Scaramucci, that's quite a description of a sitting president, if only just for the next week or so, deranged, unhinged and dangerous. The question is, um, how deranged, unhinged and dangerous might his supporters become if something's done to oust him? Well, you know, it, it's impossible to say how deranged they'll become, but I think it's a super serious thing. He has to be removed from office. You can't incite a riot like that. Uh, four or five people die in the riot. Uh, he's taken off of Twitter and par all, all these other places for a reason. There's an ins another insurrection coming. They're, they're signaling January 17th and possibly January 20th. And so, I mean, this is just, you know, raw evil coming from the president of the United States. So, you know, you have to tell me, we have to act very, very quickly, um, you know, in the face of fascism, whether it was Europe in the 1930s or the United States right now, the failure to act is always brought with recriminations from a future generation. And so we can't allow that to happen right now. We have to be vigilant uh, and we have to remove him. He has to be jailed, in my opinion. He has to be taken away uh, uh, from the White House. And so if Mike because Pence is not going to do it, then I don't know why. Because they, they were they were going to hang Mike Pence, Pierce. That, yeah, that was I the mean, goal. Honestly, the Anthony, I, I found it... Yeah. The more I have seen and heard about what went on, the more horrifying it gets. And Ben Ferguson, I simply say to you... I'm done with Trump. I want nothing more to do with the guy. This That's was... Right. When he unfollowed you on Twitter, you were done with him. Well, I've been done with him pretty much <laughs> most of the year. That is true. But okay. I never thought the time had come when I would literally cut all ties with this guy. But his behaviour since the election has been a an absolute disgrace mm. and is directly responsible for the scenes that we saw at the Capitol. He was on that very day urging them to take up the fight mm at the Capitol. Rudy Giuliani if, called for combat. Here's what, let me say this. If you're going to use that logic, then we have to immediately uh, impeach the Vice President of the United States of America, who's coming in, Kamala Harris, because she said for the protesters that were burning down cities this summer to not stop, and she raised money to bail them out of jail so they could get back in the fight. So okay. if, if, if we're going to use this logic, All right. then she can't be the Vice President either ben. because she was bailing people out of jail. Ben. Let's not Some, do what about her. We'll come to what? No, I think what about no, it's not, is, it's just If we're going to use that logic about on. the leaders of the free world, ben, then you've got to be consistent. We will come to what about your consistency in a moment, because there are some interesting questions to be asked, particularly about the banning of Trump from Twitter. But let's go back to Donald Trump for a moment, Ben. When you saw what was going on in the hallowed halls of the capital of the United States of America there, yeah, condemned surely, the surely, even you, who's been very loyal to Trump, for a very long time, even you, your heart must have sunk. You must have thought, this is, this is an insurrection. It's a direct attack on American democracy because this mob had been whipped up to believe, as a fact, an absolute lie that this election was stolen from Donald Trump. Let me say this. When it happened, I was immediately condemned it as almost every conservative that I know condemned it. That's the first thing. Second thing is this. We shouldn't have been surprised that people have taken to political violence in America right now because the reality is, Piers, all summer long, the media has been normalizing political violence. You had police stations on fire and you had people on MSNBC saying... Ben, you're playing hey, the water fire again. And I said to you, no, we're no, going to come mostly, to that. Listen, I know, listen, I'm okay, going to come... I am going to come to it. I'm not going to be unfair to you. I'm not going to be unfair, Ben, but you have to focus for now at this part of the conversation, I want you to Again. focus on Donald Trump and his culpability for whipping that mob Pierce. up for weeks into believing a falsehood, that this election okay. was stolen from him when it wasn't. And let me say this. 
The people that did what they did was absolutely wrong. And I think everybody that I know said it was wrong and condemned it immediately. But you also have to deal with the reality that we are nine days away from him walking away from the White House. And if you want to go after Donald Trump and say that he should be out of office and that we need to come back together as a nation, then Nancy Pelosi should be held accountable for, at, for supporting Antifa and Black Lives Matter when they were torching American cities all summer long. What would have long. happened, what would have happened be Ben Ferguson? What here. would have happened, Ben, if this had been a Black Lives Matter protest group? They already, they already did no, it. Hang on, no, they hang on. I haven't they finished my, I haven't finished my question. Them. Ben, if they had gone to the Capitol, to the US Capitol, and they had attacked inside the chamber as they were actually elected officials were ratifying the result of an election, what do you think would have happened to those protesters? I think the exact same thing that happened the other day. We would have hunted them down and we would have arrested them. But also remember, they attacked the White House and the Secret Service and injured dozens this summer. You have to deal with the facts. And the mayor of D.C. even renamed the plaza Black Lives Matter Plaza after they attacked the White House and the Secret Service for four and a half hours and set a church on fire across the street. Anthony, All right, Anthony. Anthony Scaramucci, one of the reasons that people want action uh, against President Trump is to stop him, uh, obviously, his incitement, uh, but the other thing is to stop him coming back. Would impeachment or the 25th Amendment stop a future President Trump run? Well, they got to convict him. Uh, the impeachment itself wouldn't stop him, but they'd have to convict him in the Senate in order to completely stop him. But you know, what, what Ben's missing about the whole story, and I love the whataboutism, is this is the president of the United States. This is the leader of the free world. And so you can't put the United States in this position. He was out there on Wednesday morning inciting people to a full-on in insurrection. And so he said, can say whatever he wants. This guy's got to go. Protest. He said peacefully go down ben, there. Look at ben, the actual five transcript. People, ben, NBC five News even died, had it. Ben. Yeah, Ben, Ben, and Ben, 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 ben here's what he also said. Chaps, chaps, let me jump in. Ben, Ben, here's what he also said. Here's what he also said, Ben Ferguson. All right, let me just say this. Stop lying for him. Let me just say this, Ben. Let me just say this. He said, Ben, let me just say Ben, let me talk. Coming from a guy like you that got fired Ben, you've got to let me talk. It's our show. You've got to let me talk. Let me say this to you. Ben, it was a, ben, there was, it was a riot. Days. There was Don't a riot going on day. inside inside the U.S. Capitol, and Trump said nothing. And when he eventually came out, you know what he said? He said, "He loved I lo them. I love you guys. You're special and people. You're special. Special people. One of those special people was this person. Can you see the guy on the left there? He's got a Camp Auschwitz." T-shirt on. He's one of the special people that Donald Trump apparently loves as they were destroying the very epicentre of American democracy. Ben Ferguson, again, I just say to you, where's your limit with Trump? Where's your limit I, with this? I, I, I will go back to what I said earlier. And again, this is if we're going to have, and I think in that moment when the president came out, and I, I would hope you would agree with me, the last thing he should be doing is inciting even more violence. He said... I love you. Go home in peace. Be peaceful. Be careful. Be safe. He should be, be denouncing to law these Nazis. He denounced and white it later three different times. They're Nazis, he denounced it three Ben Ferguson. Different times. They're Nazis. I have no problem saying they're Nazis. When you look at that individual right there, he's a Nazi. No, but, but again, you, the what aboutism is this? Did you want the president to come out in that moment and to incite more violence? I wanted him to say, to get out of there. Say, go home. I wanted go him to home. say, you are committing an atrocity. I denounce You're it. Disgusting. You know what I wanted to say, Ben? I wanted him to say, I wanted him to say in that moment exactly even, what he then even said. Even the communications I wanted, director for 11 days ben, would agree with me. You don't rap, You don't go after that crowd where they have control of the Capitol. Right, but Even what he Scaramucci did do... Would agree with you're, you're okay. Well, let's go to Anthony guy. Scaramucci. Anthony, the United States, Anthony, man. the truth is... I'm a disgrace to the United States of America because I say that the president shouldn't incite more violence in that no, moment. No, no, you're because he actually... You're a disgrace to the United on. States of America because you're apologizing for the president, the leader of the Never free world, the who incited an insurrection on the nation's hey, Capitol. Hey, hey, Anthony, Anthony, makes you, it makes you an accomplice. Logic, 
and it's going to get yeah, worse George, over the next nine this days. Is, this, is the, this is the reason why I got fired in 11 days, You're because you say guy, anyone that disagrees with you is an accomplice to things. As a fam, I have a family in law enforcement, and the president, if you were in the law enforcement in that moment, you would appreciate the president saying, everybody go home peacefully, let's regain control, and then we will prosecute, which he said we should and, do. And what's going to happen on January 17th, Ben? What's going to happen he's not on even January going to 20th? You should be happy. Oh. Ben, here's no, what I don't understand. He's not going to inauguration okay. because let me he jump wants in. there to be let me an jump attack in, guys. on the inauguration. Guys, we're not we're having not a private conversation. Let me jump in with a question. That, that ben, is, Ben, ben. let me jump in yes, with a question. A it's a fool, debate, not man. a conversation between you two. Ben Ferguson, let me ask you this. Here's what I don't get. I don't get the ongoing loyalty to Trump, given that what he's done in the last two months... He managed to lose the White House. Mm -hmm. He managed to uh, actually end up losing the Senate with his pathetic throwing the toys out of the pram, squealing about a, a stolen election. That cost him the two seats in Georgia, which has cost the Senate for Republicans. If you're a Republican right now, why aren't you furious with Trump anyway? For letting never you mind, down. Never mind the terrible great scenes question. last let week. Me let me, let me, again, great question. Let me answer it, OK? First off. This is now much bigger than just about Donald Trump, OK? When you try to indict 75 million Americans the way that Scarmucci just did a moment ago, saying you're un-American and you're part of this some sort of crime, it's pathetic to imply that everybody was in favor of this when we weren't. Second of all, I've already moved on, and now I'm worried about the silencing of conservatives and disappearing from social media at the hands of big tech. I also am upset about the double standard that there is, which is the fact that the incoming Vice President of the United States of America raised money to get people out of jail that were torching American cities, and no one batted an eye, but there were some people that did a horrific thing at the Capitol, and you want to cancel 75 okay. million Americans and die all of them for okay. it. That is disgusting. OK, you made points. Anthony Scaramucci, uh, I think that I condemned all the violence all summer at any Black Lives Matter protest. I think most reasonable people condemn violence, period. Uh, so let's get that on the record. But there is a more interesting question, Antti Scaramucci, which is this. It's about freedom of speech, isn't it? Donald Trump has now lost his Twitter platform, 80-odd million uh, followers. Facebook have suspended him till the end of uh, his tenure and are likely to continue that. Uh, other sites, which are all conservative-driven, Parler and so on, are being deplatformed and removed. And yet the Ayatollah of Iran still has a Twitter account and is able to spew anti-Semitic <laughs> threats against Israel. Uh, there is an inconsistency there. I mean, let's play whataboutism for a moment. <laughs> if you're going to silence Donald Trump, surely you have to silence Chinese leaders who use their platform to spew their kind of, or, you know, autocratic stuff. Uh, you have to surely take the Ayatollah of Iran off Twitter, don't you? Well, we can, we can have that debate, Piers, and the answer to that question is yes, there should be symmetry, but I think what's going on right now, there is an eminent and systemic threat to the United States. Oliver Wendell Holmes Jr. in a very famous Supreme Court case said that your free speech doesn't allow you to do harm to others. He used the example of yelling fire in a theater as an mm -hmm. example. And so the, the president of the United States is inciting things on all of those different social media sites and he was calling for an insurrection. He said, look what's going to happen on January 6th. They've used the 17th and the 20th. Uh, they're direct messaging each other on those sites to incite violence. And I think bringing those sites down and taking the president off of Twitter, they're trying to protect the United okay, States but from Anthony, an insurrection. But Anthony, so look, let's, we can debate let's, that, let's, but yeah, I but think that on, that's the appropriate thing Hang on, thing Ben, to do before it. you jump in, Ben, comes. let me just say this to Anthony. The Ayatollah. This is, in, uh, this is in June 2018. Our stance against Israel, he tweeted, it's still there, is the same stance we've always taken. Israel is a malignant, cancerous tumour in the West Asian region that has to be removed and eradicated. It is possible and it will happen. That's the Ayatollah of Iran on Twitter in a tweet that still exists in an account that hasn't been removed. How is that not uh, an equally not gonna, compelling threat against that. the people of Israel? I'm not going to defend that. That should be taken down as yeah. well, OK? But I don't know the backstory there you like I know this backstory. Yeah. And, I, you, you, and, I, and I know the direct messaging you, you, taking place in the United States. 
You see, have, I you think Ben really doesn't understand what's going on. You know, he okay. he talks about well, law enforcement, but he has no intelligence idea of what's going on. I think, from I think an do you know what? I think our viewers know exactly yeah. what's going on, which is that when we talk about healing. There are very deep divisions mm -hmm. still in America. Anthony Scaramucci, Ben Ferguson, thanks both about... very much indeed for joining us this morning.